Um, hi, I'm Alana Khan and I'm a Grade 3 teacher at Lansdowne Crescent Primary School. I've been teaching Grade 3 for about six years and before that I was working with Grade 5 so I've had a fair bit of experience um, using that plan in the classroom. When children enter into Grade 3 they might be a little bit daunted I suppose originally about doing that plan test. Whilst not really focusing on the idea of NAPLAN, we spend some time, I guess, making sure that when they get to the test that nothing is a surprise to them, like the format and the sort of things that they might have to do. Hi, my name's Andrea Mounter. I'm a mum at the school. I've got four boys at Lansdowne and one of them's in Grade 6, so he's done NAPLAN twice already. I've got one in Grade 5, so he's doing his second NAPLAN this year and my third son is doing his first round of NAPLAN this year in Grade 3. But one in kindergarten, so he's a long way from NAPLAN. NAPLAN is just another day in the calendar. Uh, it's, it's just another test. There's other testing that Lansdowne does. And we don't treat it as anything particularly special. We make sure they've, as usual, had a good breakfast, thinking clearly that no one's ill, and that they remember to just listen to their teacher like they normally do. Um, in numeracy, NAPLAN, looking at NAPLAN and getting children organised for NAPLAN is, can be quite fun. We've had things like maths relays here recently, um, in Grade 5 and in Grade 3, where it's just about letting them be familiar with the, um, the idea and the sort of open-ended questions. And it's a really good way to explore maths and all the different sorts of um, features that might come up into Grade 3 maths as well. So it's more about seeing what they do know rather than what they don't know. It's just another test. It's not the end of the world, <laughs> or the best thing in the world either for that matter.